Women of the Civil War. The Civil War between the states was also a war between brothers, cousins, friends, neighbors, and surprisingly, women. Women played many roles in the Civil War. They served as nurses, soldiers, spies, and many provided food, provisions, and other needs to the soldiers. Women nurses outnumbered male doctors. Many of them served as volunteer nurses. They had to experience the grim results of the war and had to endure seeing mutilated bodies, amputated limbs, disease, and death. Many people did not approve of their service and thought that they were of no use. The most famous female nurses in the Civil War were Therothea Dix, Sally Louisa Tompkins, Mary Todd Lincoln, Mary Ann Ball Biggerdike, Mary Jane Safford, and Clarissa Barton. Back then, there was the belief that the Civil War was a man's fight, and the enlistment of women was forbidden. Yet, men were not the only ones fighting and suffering in the Civil War. Many women were out there as well. They would make up fake names, disguise themselves, and hide the fact that they were female. Some of the female soldiers were Melinda Bullock, Sarah Emma Edmonds, Sarah Rosetta Wakeman, and Jenny Hodgers. Women spies were very useful and provided important critical information. Some of them dressed as men and joined the army, posed as dim-witted slaves, or just kept their ears open in social circles. Some of the most famous women spies were Emmeline Pigott, Antonia Ford, Elizabeth Van Lu, Eugenia Phillips, Rose O'Neill Greenhough, and Pauline Cushman. Civil War women did many other jobs in the war. Some of them stayed at home to carry out their husband's jobs. Others served as sutlers and provided food, supplies, and provisions to the soldiers. Yet, the most important thing of all is that all women had very active and important roles in the Civil War.